John and Duggar returning to reality television, fans have been wondering if she will go solo ever since she returned to social media after getting married. We're breaking down all the hints and what might be preventing her from doing a solo performance in the near future. While Josh Duggar is still serving his 12-year prison term, Anna Duggar has startled the internet with a startling new business endeavor. Hey guys, welcome to Vrave. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. She has discreetly formed an LLC Golden Grove Pups, igniting accusations that she has entered the dog breeding industry. We'll go into the debate and the reasons behind the flurry of online discussion. Subsequently, Jessa Duggar is embroiled in yet another issue. This occasion centers on a promotion she uploaded, which a lot of people are labeling as a hoax. We'll dissect the criticism Jessa received and explain why her supporters are becoming suspicious of Christian healthcare organizations. Lastly, when Joe Stoger is eventually freed from prison in 2032, how old will the siblings be? Fans are speculating about how much the Duggar family will have changed by then. We've done the math and are examining more closely where the family will be after Josh leaves. Jonna Duggar will have a reality show of her own. Following her wedding, Jonna made a huge social media comeback and since then, she and her family have been the subject of numerous articles. People are curious as to whether Jonna will return to reality TV. Following in her siblings' footsteps, given her recent surge in popularity. Let's dissect everything, the options and potential obstacles that may lie in her path. First off, it should come as no surprise that Jenna has received a ton of media attention following her marriage to Stephen Wisman. After being known as the Duggar sibling who is never married, fans are curious to learn more about her new life. But the real issue is, is all of this publicity a sign that Jenna is getting ready for her own show? There are serious questions about a Duggar getting another reality show, despite the allure of the idea. As everyone is aware, networks have become reluctant to collaborate with the Duggar family in the wake of the Josh Duggar scandals. However, Jana's journey could yield programming that highlights her wedding home makeovers and possibly even her upcoming pregnancies. But is that sufficient to pique the interest of a network? Let's look back at the past when the fundamentalist UP TV network fired the Bates, who were close friends of the Duggar family, even though they had already filmed the second season that was never aired. Viewers have conjectured that the cancellation could have been connected to more general disputes involving conservative individuals or groups, in addition to the publication of Amazon's Bright Happy People, which brought attention to their religious community. What does the failure of the Bates to maintain their program mean for the prospects of a Duggar-led series? Not only are networks pulling away from one another, it might get more complicated since many people think Jim Bob Duggar would try to get himself involved in any possible agreements Jana could land. Many question that Jana could completely escape her family's influence in a larger production, despite the fact that she appears to be taking charge of her social media now that she's married. Supporters also point out that, should Jana continue to be active online, viewers will probably see more of her on websites like YouTube, where, like her sisters Jessa and Joanna, she can post about renovations, her married life, and whatever other mediocre content people are interested in seeing without having to deal with the risk or scrutiny that comes with being on a major network. To be honest though, a reality TV show with a larger audience may have a greater influence than a YouTube channel. Could Jana truly turn her life into a show? Well, many believe it would be difficult to sell until her initiatives take a significant creative turn. Although her wedding received a lot of attention, her home improvements haven't exactly won over fans. In fact, some have called them substandard. Although she may be proficient in the fundamentals, she lacks a unique brand or style that would set her apart in the crowded field of home improvement material. How about the networks too? The Janice siblings have experimented with YouTube to varied degrees of success, but nobody has managed to replicate the phenomenon that brought widespread acclaim to 19 kids and counting. Fans have even conjectured that, given the impact from the Josh Duggar scandals and the bad press their religious group has received, no major network would ever contemplate producing another Duggar show. So, what is the conclusion? 
Even though Jana Duggar is constantly making headlines and appearing in social media posts, it's unlikely that we'll see her on television anytime soon. The landscape of reality TV has changed, and networks are simply too hesitant to take a chance on the Duggar family after what happened to her brother. Jana may continue to make a name for herself on YouTube, but a full-fledged reality show is unlikely. Release your breath. How do you feel? Is there going to be a show for Jana's new chapter, or is this just social media hype? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. Next, we're going all in on a brand new, surprising business endeavor that involves no one else. Then Anna Duggar. It appears that Anna is taking action on her own by starting a dog breeding business as her husband Josh Duggar serves out his 12-year prison term. You did really hear correctly. Many people have conjectured that Anna Duggar has entered the dog breeding and sales industry since she covertly registered Golden Grove puppies as an LLC in Arkansas. However, this endeavor has generated a great deal of criticism and online scrutiny. Let's dissect everything. The fame learned that Anna Duggar registered Golden Grove Puppies LLC a few months ago, which is how her new business endeavor was found. The business was incorporated by Anna using Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar's Tonta Town address, according to Arkansas Secretary of State documents. Although the actual purpose of the LLC isn't quite apparent, Many believe Anna is launching a dog breeding operation based on the name Golden Grove Puppies. However, how can we be certain that this is indeed Anna Duggar? Not only does the name of her LLC correspond with her recently created dog-focused Instagram account, but the videos uploaded to this account appear to feature dogs running around what appears to be the big house, the well-known Tauntaun home owned by the Duggar family. To add to the conjecture, the account is followed by a few well-known faces from the Duggar circle, but Anna hasn't made any official declaration herself. Online, this disclosure has drawn a barrage of disapproval and worry. Both supporters and detractors have rushed to websites like Reddit, especially the Duggar satirical community, where Anna's purported new business is being called a puppy factory. One person even launched what appears to be an on-brand puppy factory after making a comment. Others chimed in sarcastically, mocking the Duggar family's long history of breeding and suggesting that since Anna is unable to have any more children because of Josh's absence, she has turned to breeding dogs instead. Although many are unsure of Anna's intentions, many are concerned about the potential ethical issues associated with responsibly breeding dogs, which critics claim Anna may not have the time or skills to handle. One person voiced their doubts, stating reputable breeding is time-consuming and expensive, much like a Duggar puppy mill. This is not something you make up. A few have also expressed concern that the Duggar family's finances may be being siphoned by this new LLC, especially in light of Josh Duggar's ongoing legal disputes. Is Jim Bob using this as merely another means of hiding money? One user questioned whether this was really Anna's idea or if it was just the Duggar family's way of making money. Furthermore, followers have seen that Anna's new Instagram page isn't really seeing any business activity. There are only a few sporadic messages instead of announcements about litters or dogs for sale, which has many people wondering if this is actually the start of a dog breeding business or something more intricate. What are your thoughts on Anna Duggar's unexpected business endeavor? Is this really her foray into the world of dog breeding, or is there another reason behind it? In any event, controversy is nothing new for Anna, and it appears that her choices are still provoking lively discussions on the internet. We're delving into some major dramas with Jessa Duggar today. The Counting on Star is no stranger to controversy, but after she pushed what many are calling a scam, her Instagram followers are furious this time. Stay in as we dissect Jess's posts, the criticism she faced, and the mounting worries regarding her advocacy of Christian healthcare ministries. At the age of 31, Jessa Duggar Sewald has established a family life in the spotlight by frequently updating her husband Ben on the whereabouts of her five children, Spurgeon, Henry, Ivy, Fern, and young George. On October 7, Jessa revealed something that caused a lot of people to take notice particularly among her fan base who count herself among the beautiful family moments she uploads on. Jessa introduced her followers to Christian Healthcare Ministries, 
a faith-based cost-sharing program that purports to provide an alternative to regular health insurance. In an adorable Instagram post that included a picture of her and Ben, Jessa fervently urged people to take control of their health care and think about foregoing traditional health insurance in her caption. She highlighted the purported flexibility and cost of CHM, even saying that her and her family had benefited greatly from the school's maternity program. However, many of Jessa's supporters weren't thrilled about this substitute, despite the fact that she appeared to be. The criticism erupted in the comments area rather fast. A number of her admirers charged that she was deceiving them by saying that CHM is insufficient as a replacement for actual health insurance. One user even went so far as to label the program as a pure scam, cautioning others that they would be in major trouble if their child developed a serious condition such as diabetes or cancer. Some even shared their own unfavorable experiences with CHM. One commenter claiming to work in an insurance department at a cancer hospital strongly advised against following Jess's advice, while another cautioned that the guidelines provided by CHMS were ambiguous and could be harmful for individuals who depend on consistent and reliable care. Reporting, when other supporters started pointing out that CHM isn't really health insurance, things became even more heated. It's a program for expense sharing because different cost-sharing schemes like CHM aren't subject to the same regulations as typical insurance. They aren't required to cover a certain course of treatment or follow tight guidelines regarding patient safety. Since Jess didn't make this clear in her post, several of her fans objected and said she was deceiving her audience. One particularly poignant response begged Jessa to refrain from endorsing something that would actually be harmful. People trust you, so don't spread this, the user wrote. This isn't health coverage. Many believe this to be true and assume it covers costly cancer treatments, but it doesn't. And that wasn't the end of the backlash. Critics also drew attention to Jess's hypocritical endorsement, with one Instagram user putting it bluntly, socialism is okay as long as it's disguised as Christian healthcare. I understand. Jessa Duggar is no stranger to criticism, but this most recent outcry may be the worst she has yet encountered. She has offended a lot of her fans by endorsing a scheme that many see as fraudulent. It has also prompted serious concerns about her role as an influencer, particularly when it comes to matters of such a crucial nature as healthcare. Please share your opinions in the comments section below. When that time comes, most of you will remember that Josh Duggar, the former cast member of 19 Kids and Counting, was found guilty of downloading CSAM content. His legal team filed appeals, but the courts denied their requests for a reduced sentence. So Josh Duggar has been serving his sentence since then. Aside from the Duggar parents, the following will be born. David, 42. Jill, 41. Jesta, 39. Ginger, 38. Joseph, 37. Josiah, 36. And Joanna, 34. Twins, Jedediah and Jeremiah, 33. Jason, 32. James, Chapter, 31. And Justin, 29. Jackson, 28. Johanna, 27, Jennifer, 25, Jordan, 24, and Josie, 23. Speaking of children, by the time their father is released, Josh and Anna's seven children will also be older. Their youngest daughter will be turning 10 years old, and their eldest, Mackenzie, will be in her 20s. The dynamics of the family will surely have changed by then, and some fans are already speculating about how Josh will reintegrate into the family after spending so much time away. If you are looking for more Duggar family exclusive gossip, come back to Brave for all your updates. Bye, guys.